ClocksClocks.com. We're going to show you how to put together a German pyramid here. I put in most of these blades here, and you can see the pitch here is about like so. If you turn them the other way, it's going to revolve the other way. And these are all just friction tight here. You just put them in. I certainly would not glue them in. You just put them in and twist them. About like so. It fits on top of the hub here, and there is a little nylon bushing here. You can see the white next to the uh, wood there, and the steel post going through it. Sometimes they're a brass bushing. Um, sometimes that nylon one you might find loose in the box, and you know, they don't glue them in, usually. This one might be glued in, so you need that bushing in there. I'm going to put the um, hub on here, and I'm going to push it down super tight. I don't want it to rub against here. Just about like so. Now we have these protective pieces of cardboard to lift up the um, tip here. I'm going to show you on this other one just because it's easier accessible. There is a little ceramic um, concave dish. Looks like a uh, plate, you know, or maybe a bowl, a little deeper bowl. And the tip needs to be in the center of that. You know, it slides in there. You can see the little sharp steel tip, and just like so. This pyramid, just to show you, the uh, blades are glued in. Um, some of the companies do do that. And uh, again, that's the pitch, the angle that you're striving for there. Um, you can do them a little flatter, or probably go possibly faster. So, I'm going to pull out the two pieces here that are protecting that little ceramic cup and center it, like so. Sometimes on these tiered ones, these tiers will slide down and they will rub, the bottom will rub. They're just friction tight. They slide up and down that steel post that goes all the way down here. And um, your pyramid should turn very easily here. You can see this one is not. And I can see by looking, this one is touching. So I am going to hold on the steel post and just twist it up a little bit there. Just so it's not rubbing. There. Now it's not touching. You can see how easily it does turn. Um, some of your pyramids, the candle holders will come out. Some don't. This particular one has the uh, fence here that removes so you can put your protective cardboard. So, let's get her going. They should turn quite easily here. I'm just going to light two of these candles. And they'll start turning quite rapidly with uh, multiple candles on there. And uh, these are smokeless candles. Sometimes they will smoke and you'll get darkness on there if you don't get the right candles. These are the German pyramid candles. And this is a um, Robert Gleiss pyramid from the Erzgebirge Mountains in Germany. And you can see it's turning here. Nice. We can light some more. This one has a total of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six candles on here. And I would certainly keep your box that these come packed in and make a real nice box for storage so you're not losing things. You can see we're speeding up quite a bit here. And that's your Christmas pyramid. We ship them free from Hanson's ClocksClocks.com here on the internet. And um, we, we sell these year-round. They're, they're great pieces from Germany. Thank you very much.